On behalf of everyone at AT&T and Time Warner, we are gratified uh, with the court's uh, decision to categorically reject the government's bid to block this historic merger. Uh, the case is, uh, stands as a testament uh, to the wisdom of this combination of these two great companies and how it will uh, benefit consumers for generations to come. We're disappointed that it took 18 months to get here, uh, but we are relieved that it's finally behind us. And uh, we look forward to closing this transaction uh, in the upcoming days. Uh, I've been asked by many people, what is the uh, significance of this transaction on many other deals that are uh, pending in the marketplace? You know, my answer to that is that each and every one of these transactions stands on its own, as this one did. Uh, the, the court's uh, summary uh, made clear that its decision was grounded firmly in the facts and evidence uh, that were presented at trial. The government asserted various theories. Uh, we heard the court summarize those theories. But the reality is, after a massive investigation uh, that spanned over a year, after an intensive pretrial discovery process, and after a, a, a grueling six-week trial, the government could present no credible proof in support of any of its theories. This decision was a sound and proper rejection of all of the government's arguments to stop this merger. What did you think of the judge's admonition to the government not to seek a stay? I think the court recognized that uh, the defendants have been uh, subjected to this interminable delay that has, uh, I think, we're up to 600 days since uh, the merger was announced back in October of 2016 and that uh, it's unfair to the, to the defendants, to the uh, hundreds of thousands of employees of their companies whose lives have been hanging in the balance, and, and to all the shareholders and all the other constituencies of these two great companies. Uh, it's time to complete this transaction and move on. Excuse me, one at a time, please. The negative evaluation on Time Warner after 18 months is a different animal than it was 18 months ago. And is it, will there be a divestment of CNN? Uh, there will be no divestment of any of the assets. The uh, government uh, sought to block the merger in its entirety, and that uh, request was denied in its entirety. Were you surprised that the party of the wind. I mean, he came down for you guys on every for, for all of the, the lawyers and, and the people uh, who worked on this trial team, and, I, and again, I'm up here talking to you, but I'm just one of many people who contributed to this effort. Uh, it was clear to all of us uh, what, the, uh, what the evidence was each and every day of the trial. And uh, the government simply had no credible proof to support any of these contentions that it advanced. And from the beginning of this process to the end of this process, as we indicated in, in our closing arguments, the case shrunk and shrunk and shrunk until there was nothing there by the end of the day. So the judge's sweeping rejection of the government's uh, case does not surprise us at all. It's totally consistent with the absence of any credible facts or evidence to support the case. Excuse me. Because this was a, such, such a decisive decision and so sweeping, what do you think was behind the government's case? Why yeah. did they bring it? The motivation. Was it political? Uh, we uh, attempted to uh, investigate that issue. I think, as you folks know, uh, the court decided it was not going to go in that direction in this case. We can't fault the court for that. The court wanted to try the case on the merits, so we had to try the case on the merits. Uh, we were not able to uh, ascertain what uh, the decision-making process was. Uh, uh, we were surprised when this case was brought, and as I said in closing argument, it's a case that never should have been brought. Was the admonition against seeking a stay? Was the admonition against seeking a stay at all? Do you think a political reference to, to political pressure? No, I think the judge was just commenting on how long uh, we've been subjected is to this process. Is President Trump, the reason you had to wait 18 months ago. Uh, we have no uh, no insight into that. Okay, one at a time, please. Well, uh, as the evidence of the trial showed, uh, this will only serve to benefit consumers. 
uh, just, uh, just as we've seen from all of the other vertically integrated companies that are providing so many wonderful new offerings and innovations uh, to consumers as they're watching television in so many new and different ways. And this is just an iteration of that process. Dan, when do you anticipate this transaction closes? And did you ever consider seriously settling? Uh, this transaction is uh, going to close uh, no later than June uh, 20. Uh, under the uh, the court's uh, order and 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 a timeline that the parties agreed to. Thank you very much. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.